Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about the two The Elder Scrolls games for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Also, just keep in mind that in this video I'm mostly going to tell you some random facts about the games. I'm not actually going to review them as they are so dense it will take me it, it will take me over an hour to talk about in depth details about the games. So I thought to just list them and while you look a bit at the gameplay you will know some facts about the games. So enjoy the video. The Xbox 360 and PS3 have two Elder Scrolls games. The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, released in 2006, and The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, released in 2011. So, The Elder Scrolls Oblivion is the fourth installment of this series. It was at that time a technical marvel, an RPG so well made that it is praised and known even today. Oblivion takes place in Cyrodiil, which is in Tamriel, the continent where Skyrim takes place as well, and Morrowind and other games. What is nice about both games is that you get to choose from 10 races, and the character creation options are plenty, and the freedom doesn't end here. The games are so big and so varied that you can ignore the main quests and start the secondary ones and it will still entertain you and give you a good story. Multiple good stories, actually. There are over 100 dungeons in the game, each with hidden and unique stuff. There's so much to do that just a mere video or just some minutes couldn't explain the huge amount of content the games provide. You get multiple weapon times, you can have a shield in one hand and a sword in another, or you can wield a two-handed weapon, or you can cast magic. Combat options are immense too, and not only this, but the longer you use your attack, the stats will increase and you become more efficient. You can lockpick brew potions, each eat cheese to get better, deceive people, steal, be stealthy. The world is vast and with a lush fauna and creatures everywhere. The stories are interesting both in the main quests and in the side quests and I haven't talked about Skyrim. So I'm just going to tell you some things you might not know. I'm not going to actually get into details with these two games because they are well known and if you don't know about the games you can always search for reviews on YouTube that explain everything. For now I am satisfied with this video to make it just into a short nostalgic review of the games rather than describing them in a journalistic fashion. So Skyrim also known as the Old Kingdom, Throat of the World, the fatherland of Khazal, is a vast region set in the northern part of Tamriel. It is home to the Norths, large and hardy men and women who have strong resistance to frost, both natural and magic. Skyrim was originally inhabited by a race of Mer known as the Snow Elves. Though after the Atmoran Snow Elf War, the Snow Elves were all but destroyed and the Atmorans settled the land. It is bordered by Morrowind to the east, the Nibene and Colovia in Sidereal to the south, Hammerfell to the southwest and High Rock to the west. The island of Solstheim lies to the northeast of Skyrim, now sovereign territory of Morwind. The Norths are a race of men native to Skyrim. Norths consider themselves to be the children of the sky. They call Skyrim the throat of the world because it was where the sky first brought the north winds upon land and formed them. Breath and the voice are the vital essence of a North. The art of breathing 
speech and articulation is with them. Though the art of speech is usually associated with the goddess Dibella, the art of the thum or storm voice is associated with Kinareth, who gave men the ability to speak. These are just fun facts. I, I, I've read them from the Wikipedia article, from the Wiki fandom article of Skyrim. I will leave a link in the description so that you can read it. it it's I, I think it's more comprehensive if you read it because some of the names I might not have read them correctly. Anyway, I'm ending the video here. I think it's it's enough. Five minutes of talking is enough for these two games. If you want to know more about them, just watch other in-depth videos. There are plenty of people who made such great videos about these two games that I'm, I'm satisfied with the video just to list the games and to just make some sort of nostalgia review combined with some fun facts. Also due to the awesome nature of the games, you can have a lot of fun in them. I mean, the games aren't just epic, they can get hilarious too. The rectal physics are worth every penny, and since each one of them is such a vast game, of course that if you seek it, occasional glitches appear everywhere. Oh, and you can mod it. But for mods, I recommend playing the PC version, as it's easier to mod the game and you can get a much bigger array of mods than on console. But just know that the console versions can be modded too, but not as efficient, as mods on console are more scarce. But I want to tell you something else. If I haven't put an emphasis on it, just know that the games are amazing and you should play them. They might be long and when you think about them like uh, st starting it, well, no, no, it's too long, it, it's too long, it, it will take me too long, just try them out. They are those type of games that keep you hooked countless of hours and you'll enjoy every minute when playing. Okay, now I should really stop talking. It's amazing how much you can talk when you don't have a plan. I mean, I didn't systematically review any of the games, nor did I put any ideas on paper. I just started talking about them and, well, I've read a short part of a Wikipedia article. That's why the video turned out to be so lousy. And well, it's interesting that if you keep the essence high, you can talk much in a few words as I usually condensate a lot of information in my short videos. But this one, well, it's the exception. This one doesn't tell you much, but it's got to be long. This is one of my most inefficient videos. I think one of my most inefficient videos I've ever done, at least until now. Yep, yep, th this is the record folder. This is my most inefficient video ever made till now just look at the date when this video was released if i ever do this mistake again on talking nonsense for almost 10 minutes but if i still talk so much i'm gonna upload it you have been warned in the intro that you can skip through the video Okay, so as I usually do when I talk nonsense and keep the relevant information low, how about a QA? and a If you had patience to listen to my jibber jabber that almost doesn't tell you anything new, you deserve to get your answer respond. Your question. You deserve to get your question responded. So if you're listening to this, drop down a question in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it either by a direct comment or make a video about it.
and well a Q&A video